Good day, fellow investors. I will start a short series about the stocks I recommended in 2017 to see what happened and if I would still recommend them. Today I will discuss 10 miners that I have recommended, then I'll make a video about the Chinese stocks that I recommended, about global stocks that I recommended and about developed market stocks that I recommended. So you can expect four videos about stocks that I recommended to see how they have done and what do I expect in the future. So let's start with the mining industry and see what happened. The first stock we discussed on this channel was Nova Gold Resources, a company that has two great projects that still have to be developed. You can see that in the last six months it didn't really do well, but this is a very, very long-term investment. The two projects are the Donling Gold investment and the Galore Creek project. The net present value is really related to gold prices. If gold prices double, then the net present value of this company goes to stratospheric ranges. So really a leveraged play on gold. Nova Gold owns 50% of Donling Gold and 50% of Galore Creek. Galore Creek also a copper project very much related to copper prices. Now the market capitalization is 1.2 billion. However, the net present value is current values is 0.9 billion at 7% discount rate. So we can say that the company now is overvalued. If you're looking for jurisdiction, US miner, then you will pay a little bit more. That's why the company has a premium in relation to the other stocks we will discuss. Nevertheless, if in the next 10, 20 years, gold prices spike, this will be a great investment. So you have to look at it from that perspective, rebalance accordingly, but you can buy this, sit on it 10, 15 years, and you will probably make a lot of money. It's really a long-term investment. For those interested, look into Nova Gold. It's still a good investment for the long-term. Another company that I recommended was Harmony Gold Mining Company, which was extremely cheap when we discussed it. As you can see, it has a margin of safety at the price we discussed it, as it didn't go much low, but it went higher a little bit. The company has a gold pool project in New Papua Guinea, where the net present value is 1.1 billion. It has positive cash flows, but it has very high costs from African mines. And it recently made an acquisition spending cash with some financing to acquire again high cost African mines, hoping that they can turn it around. So if gold prices increase, Harmony will immediately be extremely cash flow positive. However, if gold prices decline, it will be questionable and there will be issues. So Harmony is a play on short term gold price increases. That's how I see it. Undervalued from a book value perspective from the gold pool project. So long term, if the company survives, which it probably will because it can always sell some assets if necessary, it's again a good investment, very, very long term again. Turquoise Hill Resources is another long term investment. I said that you can buy this company for the next 100 years as their project in Mongolia will be mined for the next 100 years. And given the higher copper prices, the stock reacted very well to higher copper prices. I still find it a little bit overvalued or let's say fairly valued. However, with inflation, with what will happen with copper in the future, let's say it was a much better investment at 270. Now it's a, perhaps a little bit overvalued. And if copper prices fall, the stock price can give better opportunities to invest. Nevertheless, if you again want to park your money for 100 years, you should look at this. My favorite miner, I really like the Timok project. I might be biased, but I own this company. So nevertheless, it's interesting. We discussed this, the company, the stock is still cheap. The real unlocking of the value will happen in five years, so 2022. So if you want something where you can also put your money for the long term, Nefson is again an interesting play. It has the option to be acquired by somebody, especially after the pre-feasibility study. It pays a small dividend and there is a huge project and huge exploration potential in Timok. Fairly valued, let's say, fairly valued at $3. Now also good, good value. Norilsk Nickel, a very interesting nickel play, especially as demand for batteries increases. It is up since we recommended it was about 15. Copper prices went up, platinum prices went up. Therefore, I expect really good things for Norilsk in the long term. Very good ore bodies, very good grades, long term mines. So 
really little risk because the cost of producing nickel for Nordisk is negative. Still see it as a good long-term investment. In the short term, as always, nobody knows what will happen. Hot Bay Minerals also went up since we recommended it. Now I see it as fairly priced, but if copper prices go higher, then the stock will also go higher. It has the potential to go to 15, especially when the Rosemont project gets online. But for now, again, a good long-term investment in the short term, it will depend on copper prices. Eldorado Corporation, it was cheap for me at 230. I didn't buy it. I did bought a bit at 130, 125. Now it's already a bit higher. The market capitalization is 1.1 billion. The value is at least 3 billion. If you leave Greece out, you are at 2 billion. A lot of bad news have really depressed the stock price but this is what gives opportunities to the shrewd investor. Really check out my Eldorado video to see what's behind it. Guyana Goldfields, the stock price increased since I recommended it. It has a good ore body, it has a new mine that is de being developed. Still a good long-term gold investment. Be careful with all these gold investments, miners, they are very volatile in relation to commodity prices. So if you find something inter interesting, put it on the watch list and be ready to invest when nobody wants to invest. Now the environment is getting a little bit hot. Landing Mining, again, a very interesting company. They announced that they will produce less in the next two years to produce 20% more over the next decade. This f at first was negatively accepted by investors, but then it became a very positive thing and the stock price recovered. It's crazy how the market works. So from a broad perspective, I still see all these companies as good long-term investments. What will happen in the short term? Nobody knows. I own some of them, Nevsun, Norilsk for my kids account, Eldorado and a little bit of Harmony. So I have diversified portfolio that I hope will do well in the very long term. And as this is a part of my all weather portfolio, I rebalance accordingly when the prices go higher or buy more when the prices are lower. Thank you for watching, looking forward to your comments and I'll see you in the next video. In addition, have a great, great new year.